code coach, we're doing a plumbing rough inspection. I want you to see here, we've got a great example of a sanitary vent stack, drain and vent combo stack. I want you to see here, you got your branch arm here with a nail guard. Nail guard, these are required nail guards for plumbing. Note they extend two inches past the bottom plate. These are required at your top and bottom plates. Nail guards are required everywhere else. If it's a structural, a structural load bearing wall, which this is not, you'd need a structural one of these. This is just, again, a nail guard for plumbing. I want you to note here, they got their water lines protected. Anything within an inch and a half of potentially being screwed by drywall, they have it protected. I want you to look here. They got your supports on their vent and they maintain that slope maintain that slope for your pipe size. This happens to be two inch pipe and they're maintaining that eighth to a quarter inch slope. Um, also too, I want you to see here, this is the biggest thing with plumbing pipe and metal. Any type of plumbing pipe needs to make sure you have your clear notches around your metal. That's really the biggest issue with the plumbing is that you have metal framing either if it's plastic which this is pvc cpvc or copper with dissimilar metals but just make sure that none of that metal is touching the water pipe you do not want any other metal touching that water pipe because that pipe's going to move it's going to vibrate it's going to get any little just oscillations from water hammer and rattling what have you and that little bit of wear on the metal will deteriorate that pipe and you're going to get issues so just making sure again you got your good nail guards installed good maintain your slope per pipe size and make sure you cut your pipes clear of all metal